Port Adelaide thought they had opened two-goal bumper against Richmond in three-quarter hit as Kane. Farrell threw long grenade through goals, but was denied by the siren that sounded microsecond from ball before he was kicked. Powerful midfielder Jason Horn Francis scores a free kick on the 50-yard arc with just seconds to go. Knowing that shot was just a short distance away from him. Young player turned his left foot to Farrell. One of most spectacular feet in game. Stream them all for free on 7 plus Farrell caught ball in handball and hit it from far outside of. 50. A goal that could have been scored. Only difference being that Siren went off just a few milliseconds before his foot touched ball. The fans think it's there. Commentator Dwayne Russell said as home fans applaud what they thought was a goal. However, the goalkeeper waited for approval from the field referees and was met with a clear no score. Decision. Well, Farrell threw it away. Got out of his trunk on time. Do they need to review this? After the decision, field referee Eleni Gluftsis was heard talking to the players. Port Adelaide players were confused as referees made the call after siren. The siren rang before the shot. So no points, said Adelaide as booze rained down on the oval. We can't scrutinize, said the strangely experienced AFL referee, Dermot Breton. A five-time Hawthorne champion. Said it was the right decision. I think this happened a microsecond ago. Breton said. Russell added with this beautiful game. Never know. Even if you think know it. In the end. That didn't really matter as Port Adelaide secured third place as they made their way into the AFL. Finals. Beating Richmond by 31 points. Port Adelaide finished third in the AFL standings after a 31-point win over Richmond. Powers wing forward Francis Evans scored three goals in Sunday's 13.16 to 8.15 win. Port will travel to Brisbane to play with the second-placed Lions in the qualifying final. The other qualifying final has now been finalised and ranking leaders Collingwood will host. Fourth placed Melbourne, led by speedy Dustin Martin. Richmond performed live but will finish in 13th place. Martin's game record 33 disposals included seven of them in the 50s and one goal. Teammate Shy Bolton scored two big goals, with Thompson Dow and Jaden Short leading. Port's Connor Rosie, Zach Butters and Dan Houston were the home team's top winners. Francis Evans was thrilled against Richmond Mark break two goals each from teammates Sam Powell Pepper. Willie Rioli and Ollie Lord were added to Evans' goals. Port was up five points in quarter. From 4.3 to 3.4. As the Tigers had six more entries into offensive 50 meters zone. Long forward Lord scored two goals. This matched Bolton's comeback from Richmond as Martin collected 11 eliminations over that period. Martin's influence continued with 11 touches in the second quarter, with both sides adding two goals in front of an audience of 39,860, leading 6.7 to 5.11 points.